Welcome back to The Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator. Today, we're gonna to be moving to a brand new house. If you didn't see the other day, I posted a build video where we built the house that Hazel is gonna move into. So I'd recommend checking out that video up here. It was a lot of fun. You guys seem to really like it. But now we're just gonna earn a little bit more money so we can actually afford to move. So let's just take another gig. We have another $14,000 renovation. And I feel like these are kind of like, I feel like it's not supposed to be that much. And as some of you pointed out, it seems like it's supposed to be 1,400 not 14,000. Like it, it honestly seems like someone typoed it because it goes from like 800 simoleons to 1900 simoleons, then to 14,000. And then their budget's only 2,400. Like it honestly seems like it doesn't make any sense. And I hope that they address that, either say it's supposed to be like that or that it was a typo and fix it. It kind of feels like that's cheating. Like I know we did it before and I'm fine with that because I do want to move. So I'm happy with the money we made, but I don't know if I want to keep doing the ones that pay 14,000. <gasps> Big wallet, yes! Budget 5,000, we only get paid 600 bucks, but it's in the Big Wallet family. I don't know which house it is or whose it is, but we're gonna go and do that. That's gonna be sweet. All right, so we do have $17,000. I don't think I'm gonna do too much to this house because we're about to move out, but I am gonna do a few little things. So I'm gonna move some of this. I'm gonna get rid of, I like, the, I do like this column, but I'm gonna get it out of the way for a second. I wanna move the kitchen down a bit and I wanna expand this room. Then I wanna do this. This may seem weird and I wanna block this off, but I'm gonna put an archway there. So it's just a nice little separation. Okay, let me put some stuff in my inventory because <laughs> I get a lot of junk. Oh, actually the archway makes it feel really small. <laughs> Hang on. Hmm, I want like a really tall archway. Okay, maybe leaving it open is a better idea. Hang on. Then do a spandrel. I don't know if this is a good idea, by the way. I'm just doing this to see if I like it. And then I'm gonna change that wall back to just like the wall paint. And then this whole wall here can be brick. And then the kitchen's gonna be reconfigured as well. I'm just gonna put all this stuff in my inventory for a second. Is there a way to, there's no way to change an existing counter into it. Like I want an end piece, but I don't think there's any way to change an existing one to that, which is annoying. Yes, okay, so if I do this, and then we do have plenty of room over this side of the, the space to move everything over as well. Now, I'm not saying that this particular renovation is a good one. I'm just doing it to see if it is gonna work for us. <laughs> so, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm just trying to reconfigure the space because what, what I'm trying to do is add a, a second bedroom and then this would be like a second bathroom, but just a wash closet. So just a toilet and a sink. Problem being is I might actually, I think I need to rotate this actually. I think maybe it makes more sense to have it this way so that we can actually have a door to the bedroom here. Actually, we can even make the bedroom a bit bigger. So then you have the small little foyer, which is good. I'm happy with that. And then second bedroom. Oh, it has no windows though. Oh, that's sad. Hmm. Oh. Uh, that does throw a little spanner in the design change because <laughs> it has no windows. Okay, maybe, hold up, I got an idea. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. So we still have the little bathroom back here. So just toilet and a sink. Then there's another bedroom here, which is actually pretty good. It's got like, like the whole wall is windows. So that's a beautiful room. Better windows in the master bedroom but I'm still gonna keep this to master because we have the walk-in rope and the ensuite bathroom. So that's still pretty good. Um, and then this is the living space. So then you get the two bedroom apartment, you know, for resale value. We are a dream home decorator. So we're trying to resell this place, you know, for more than what we paid for it. So I think this is a good way to go. Let's go fridge. Let's try to figure out this kitchen now. We get these guys in here. Then these can go here. And then I've got one more counter, which is kind of annoying. Because, <laughs> I mean, I guess we don't need to keep it. But maybe we'll just get rid of that. So the, the oven is gonna go there. The hub is gonna go... I might just put it on top because even though they technically don't, they're not supposed to do that. I'm just going to do that. Uh, sink is going to go here. Dishwasher. Ooh. Oh yeah, we'll put it over here next to the sink. That makes sense. Easy. And then we have the stools here and the bin. I guess it's going to have to go beside the counter. So it's kind of like in the middle of the room, but whatever. That goes there. I'm going to keep that counter for a second. Okay, so that's a that's a better layout. And then, oh, I, I guess I want that wall still to be, I did like that wall being brick. I do like that. Actually, bathroom, I'll do the same sort of uh, aesthetic as the other one. Okay, a little light in there. A little light in the little foyer too. I, I quite like this little, I like the little entrance. Here, I, I guess I'll just do like a table or something or like a shelf. I don't know, just something to, to put stuff on. That's kind of the idea. Now, I don't want to spend too much money because I do, we do need to sell this place still, you know. <laughs> They're still trying to sell and move, so. Oh no, hey, it changed my couch. And I don't think there's any way I can change it back because I, I did have originally this piece, which how much does this cost? 150, how much do I, can I sell this for? 120? I lose 30 bucks just to get my arm back? Okay, we're leaving it like that. <laughs> we're leaving it like that. Wait, where did my arm check go? Did I sell, oh no, it's 
<laughs> right there. <laughs> so yeah, we don't have any dining table, but we do have this. I mean, we could probably fit a small dining table here if we wanted, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend money on it. A little coffee table with our thing on, and our little llama thing. I do. I have another light actually. Maybe this bedroom could use two lights actually, because it's a bit bit off. I still have that stolen couch, which we all keep. I do have this little stolen as well, so I guess I'll. I'm gonna scale it up and put it on this wall. Sweet. And then I have this armchair or this uh, dining chair as well, which I guess just sit in that corner. And then the easel, actually maybe the easel will go in that corner. And this chair can go in this room. This is my stolen artifacts room, there we go. Which is technically a second bedroom. So, you know, when we resell it, they're gonna love it. They're gonna love it. Two bedroom apartment, dang. All right, so I've got this. I'm gonna sell this because we don't need this extra. Cannot place room due to fixed object. I'm not trying to place it. I'm pressing, literally pressing the delete button on this item. Uh, I don't know, that was weird. Anyway. <laughs> so I get the cheap toilet in there and a bathroom sink. Get the same one as the other bathroom as well. So same kind of same kind of thing. Oh, actually, I'll turn move objects off here so that I know it's placing properly. Got a little toilet paper roll holder. There you go. All right, this place is looking pretty good. I got fifteen thousand dollars left, but what is this house is worth twelve thousand? So I think we have enough to move, but we're gonna do that renovation job first. But I think this is pretty good. I mean, I think we've come a long way. I really like it. I could actually, you know what? I could actually um, maybe shift this door a little bit because then it actually gives us a bit more space for the living room. So then that's like a little hall hallway space, which is good. And then this is the, the living area. And then I could also get, not that, one of these. Oh, is that the wall one? No, it's not the ground one. One of those. Wait, how much am I spending on this? Okay, I, I can't, I still can't really afford this stuff. <laughs> we'll get that. Okay, I have actually spent quite a bit of money. So we gotta, we gotta make some money back here. Cause we're gonna actually be taking a lot of our furniture with us. Uh, obviously like when we move, we'll take all of my upgraded stuff with me. So we gotta keep that in mind too. Cool. All right, well, this is a brand new apartment. This looks great. I love this. Can I get some leftover? Hey man. Hey Quincy. Say dude. I'm gonna go into my new apartment that I just dream home renovated. I guess I didn't put anything there, but I don't, I don't look. I don't want to spend too much money in this place because we're about to leave. So let's not worry about it. I would. Oh, okay. Well, I got to paint this wall. Hang on. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. Um, I would like to. Yeah. I, if we were staying here longer, I would like to have more. So wait, hang on a second. My lights are working. Oh wait, no, they always work at the beginning. It's when we travel back. Okay, but we have to move because of the power glitch. So, <laughs> well, whatever. Oh, you know what I did just realize though? Hmm. This bathroom probably does need a shower because if that's a second bathroom and the other one's an ensuite, we probably do need a sh Hey! <laughs> we probably do need a shower for it. I wonder if you can just put a shower in the middle and it will work somehow. Maybe it will. If I just put it in front of the door, does that work? I bet it doesn't, but I'm going to find out. Okay, can you go use this toilet? Oh my gosh, it actually does work. It's less than ideal having it point at a wooden door, but uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess it works. Let's test. And yeah, there you go. Fully functional bathroom. I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but let's just roll with it, okay? Oh yeah, I gotta do some vacuuming here. Vacuum lightly. There we go. Gotta make sure this place is nice and clean for all the uh, inspections that we're gonna have when we're trying to sell it. Sleeping. Here come the gremlins. Wait, what? What? You got up just after midnight to, to say you didn't like this? All right. Well, anyway, I'm gonna do the routine of going around repairing everything. I'll see you afterwards. Oh, my oven glitched out again. Hmm. I wonder if this will ever work properly. Hmm. See, now it's fine. Maybe it will stay like that. I don't know if I hadn't noticed it before. And repair that. That's the last thing to repair, I think. Then we're all good. And now I get all the free parts by scavenging. Oh, you didn't finish repairing the fridge. Oh, wait, no, it's the dishwasher. Right, 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 right. Repair that too. All right, let's throw away all the garbage that we have now. And then we're gonna do the two hour mopping process. <laughs> cool. Place is clean. Oh yeah, let's get some leftovers for breakfast. All right, so today we have a big wallet renovation, which is pretty exciting. Starts at 9 a.m. I don't know which big wallet family we're going to, but we're doing a walk-in closet, or at least we're going to attempt to, I guess. We'll see. All right, let's just go have a quick shower as well, because we're a little stinky, not, not too bad, but you know, we'll clean up before work and get dressed, go to the toilet, and we're in a pretty good mood, so we might as well go sit on the couch for a bit, and we can watch channel. Let's watch the Dream Home Decorator Network. Did you just fart through the cat? Oh, did we still have Franks and Beans that you're eating? Oh yeah, we do. Um, you know, I did tell you to sit on this couch because I just thought it might be a better angle for your neck. Because usually sitting like this and turning is usually not very good for you. <laughs> hey, you can barely see the yarn these days. I bet you didn't, I bet you guys didn't even look at it once yet until I just mentioned it. <laughs> All right, let's go to work. Oh, it's a Solani big wallet. Um, excuse me, banana. Do we have custom clothes? Wait, oh, I don't have any of my mods or CC turned on. Oh, oops. Yeah, cause she did have um the Grim Cookies and Delugacy collab clothes on. I'm sorry. Oh, it's Mr. Chow Chow. Aw, looks just like 
like Bowser. Except not really, but aww. All right, anyway, what are we doing here? Hey guys. Uh, oh, I guess I gotta, let me knock on your door first. What is going on here, by the way? Do you need me to fix that for you guys? It, for some reason, this house has changed the foundation there to be different. So it's kind of glitched out, which is just fantastic. Uh, wait, I don't seem to be able to knock on your door. Uh, maybe just the back door. Ah, here we go. For some reason, that's their front door. Just give me like an hour. I just got to walk around the back of your house and knock on your door. <laughs> okay. So we have to do a walk-in closet, which I'm going to... Oh, you know what we're going to do? Um, no, no, no. Ugh, don't send client away. Let's <laughs> go... Friendly introduction. Uh, we're gonna turn this bedroom into the walk-in closet because with these room renovations, you can't actually add walls, which is kind of annoying when they give you a walk-in closet. Also, this foundation glitch is super annoying. Uh, so we're just gonna remove a bed and we'll turn this into their walk-in wardrobe. It's gonna be awesome. They're gonna love it. Okay, why are we all hanging out in the bathroom? And she's playing with a lump of clay. Sweet. <laughs> you guys having a good day? All right, let's see what you guys want. Okay, why are we all in here? Mr. Chow Chow really wants to have some loving. I better meet Mr. Chow Chow. Friendly introduction. There's no way. If this was a real Chow Chow, it would be barking at me right now. You cannot just walk into a Chow Chow's house like that. Let me tell you. Believe me, I know. Okay, anyway, let's not talk to the Chow Chow. All right, what do you guys actually want? Oh, now she's playing with a future cube. Man, she's got it all. She's got she's got the clay blob. She's got the future cube. I don't know where she's keeping them, but she's got them. All right, let's uh, see the mood board as well. Let's also ask you as well. No, she's not decor trends. I don't care about that. Uh, mood board. So she likes mixology, okay? So we're gonna get some drinks in. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Like you you make a an event of, you know, getting ready and all that. So you have your little drinks, uh, your little bar cart or something there. That'd be nice. Nice. Okay, and you don't like piano and you like modern decor. You know what? I can work with this. I can work with this. Now, where's Mr. Chow Chow? There she is. And that is correct because Mr. Chow Chow is a female dog for reasons. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Chow Chow. Aww. Yeah, she really didn't like that. All right. Well, now that we know Mr. Chow Chow, let's get these people out of here. So, like I said, I am going to take a photo of... It's going to be this room here, essentially, is what we're going to do. Not the kitchen. Uh, I wonder if we'll change... We might change that door. So I'm going to take a photo outside. And then in here, I'm going to go this direction. Maybe I'll just take one of all... Oh, I can go straight out the window. That's sweet. <laughs> take one of all four directions. And then maybe I'll remember to take the same photos. Okay, build mode. All righty. So we're going to get this bed and we are going to delete it. So they like mixology. I'm thinking, oh, the drinks tray doesn't count as mixology. Come on. I wanted to add the drinks tray on like a cart because that would have been awesome and have like a little bar cart. I mean, we could have the globe, but it's not the same. Well, we definitely have to have a bar in here. I think we've established that. Does that clip through the wall? It kind of does. But we could probably work with that. Maybe not this far. Oh, Batu! Yeah! Okay, no, this really doesn't suit. <laughs> okay, maybe I should do the rest of the room first. Okay, so this house, I mean, they like the modern day core. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so there's a walk-in wardrobe is what we're trying to do. So is there anything that's actually going to help me do that? Maybe I'll change the doors. I'm going to still do a double door. No, I'm not. I'm going to do one door instead. Change it to this. Okie dokie. And then... Okay, so the clothes count as modern decor apparently, which is actually kind of useful. So I'm going to remove these windows because I want to put stuff on those walls. Okay, so we definitely have to have one of these mirrors somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I'll just put it here. Uh, that's a classic walk-in wardrobe mirror. I do love this chair, so maybe we can get this in somewhere. Also, I feel like last time we filtered by modern, we had way less things. Is this showing more than it did last time? Or is that just me? Okay, so that's the clothes. Do we have the actual rail for these in here? I don't think so. All right, well, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to need some actual light in this room because I don't think we have any. <laughs> I don't think there's any light in this room at all. Ah, that's better. Interesting floor choice I did in here. Whoa, what is going on down there? Can I change the foundation? Like, can I fix this or is this not going to let me? No, it doesn't. All right, well, I'm going to have to come back in world edit mode and fix this house because what is going on down there? So wait, not so drab slab. Um, I change it to this maybe just to lighten up the floor a bit. And then, okay, so I do want these to be sort of more that sort of warm color, although we don't have a warm wood tone. Hmm, do black? Is that too much the opposite direction though? Oh, we could do this one. That kind of looks a little a bit warmer on the inside. Sure, let's go with that. Okay, so we'll get some over here. Then we're gonna do the same on the other side and just try to get these facing the other way so they look different as well. All right, so we got a few clothes in here. I don't know if I like the white color though. I, I've kind of decided I really don't, not feeling it. And that's like too dark. I don't know. Maybe we just have to bring that wall down to match it. And then do we do mirrors behind them? Kind of fun. I mean, I kind of like that. We'll still keep this one though. Now I'm thinking we do something like this that looks like a Kallax and we don't 
put it on the wall. Actually, if I place these like off the wall, I put the walls, oh, they still stay visible. Problem is I don't, cause I just want them, I just want them, these things to be visible when the walls are down, you know? But I don't, I can't remove that wall cause I'd have to remove it and then put this in. Otherwise it's just gonna snap to it. I really wish there was a way to disable snapping easier. All right, we're gonna do a Kallax here. <laughs> okay, it's gone. Okay, put the walls up, there we go. And it'll be this, actually darker color. No, it can't be darker color cause you won't see the shoes then. <laughs> and this is where you're gonna put all the shoes is the idea. I wonder, can I put these lights in here and then change their color? Like, do you reckon those will look cool or will it look really stupid? Oh, I can't change the color in Dream Home Decorator. Oh, okay. Hmm. We can still keep the lights in there though. I, I mean, like I kind of like the, it's got a little bit of a glow to it, you know? All right, then we basically just fill this with shoes. Cool. So we got a bunch of shoes there. I feel like there could be more shoes though. I feel like the top of it's still a little dark. Maybe we get some studio lights hanging down, pointing at it. <laughs> I really like the idea of this light um, because it looks awesome. I just wish I had a shorter stem version, but I'm wondering if, what if we just move it up? Does it, oh, it is hidden in the roof. That's actually awesome because then you can have this like big diffuse light up above which would be really good for like even lighting that's actually kind of cool i like that and then i think i can probably hide these inside this light oh it's actually getting pretty bright i just want it to light up the shoes you know a little bit better just need good shoe lighting you know that, that's all i'm saying it'd be nice to have like a big plain like lit whole back of this thing like have this lighting panel over the whole thing. That'd look pretty cool, but I think that works. All right, so you can sit. Okay, this light is really in the way. It, does it disappear? Oh wait, it won't really disappear, will it? Hang on, if I go to live my, oh yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> you can see where I hit the other one. There it is, but still. All right, I mean, I'm I'm quite, I'm actually quite liking this. All right, then, so it's just kind of annoying in build mode. That's fine. And then on this side, I'm going to get these guys in. I'm actually wondering, do I make them a lighter color maybe? Or we can do it like this with the combination. Oh, I'm over budget. Damn, I, I, I really went all out on this. <laughs> I think this is awesome though. I really like it. All right, hang on. I've got how much? 500 bucks? How much is this? That's 200. Because I just want like some um, flat thing there, you know? I don't know if I really like the rounded one of this, but it's going to have to be what it is. I need like makeup or something here, you know? Although it's not in a very convenient position because all the mirrors are like, well, this mirror's over there. There's not really a vanity in here. Maybe what we do, hang on, let me, I move the shoes to this wall. Maybe just get rid of one of the extra shoes. So there's less shoes, which is a shame, but then that can fit on this side. What if I just get one? Oh, this is kind of, oh wait, it's too big though. It comes out too far from the wall. Like that's kind of what I wanted. Just have the whole back being like a lit panel. Well, those lights are expensive too. I'm just gonna get rid of these for a second. So if we get rid of those, where's my tiny little light? There it is. Um, I grab that. I don't know if the shoes need the light anymore. That might be too bright now, you know? I might just get rid of it. Yeah, I keep the chair. I do like the chair there. Like I do like it's kind of tucked in that corner over there. Uh, I haven't actually chosen a color for it, but I actually kind of like the default color to be honest. You know, did I even build this house? I feel like I maybe didn't build this house because I don't remember this at all. Like I know we lived here, but maybe, maybe I just downloaded this or did this already exist? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't remember it at all. Oh, those mirrors are in the wrong spot. Also, yeah, I don't like this door. I just used it because it was the new door, but and it's also technically modern, which is what they wanted. All right, so let's do that. Put this over this side. Then that gives us this space here to work with. Then we can get some mirrors. Does that? It does fit in the wall. Okay, so we can do that as like a little vanity kind of thing. Oh, oh, I didn't get a bar. That's what I need. Maybe instead of this. Okay, well, hang on. We need mixology. We have to have mixology. I totally forgot. I really wish all these bars didn't have the huge like lip on it that sticks out. It does make it harder to get one that kind of fits in. What if we put it under the clothes? So it sticks out there a little bit, which is okay. I move it a smidge high, do you reckon? Would that be annoying? Hang on. Like, is that too high? Or is that... I mean, it just kind of looks messy, to be honest. It looks, seems like there should be, like, the, the gaps are kind of strange, you know? Anyway, maybe shoes go back here, so then this becomes the vanity again. And then, oops, that light makes it really hard in build mode to <laughs> see what I'm doing. See, I don't mind this sticking through the outside because it just kind of looks like a bit of the window. So that's why I don't mind that. And then that can sort of go there as the bar. Yeah, I mean, that, to, that to me, I'm quite happy with that. That seems quite good. All right, then over here, the wall's up. So this is now our little vanity. Which I think actually also works quite well. It probably works better than the other thing. So this little basket that has towels in it. So maybe, I don't know, for toweling stuff. Tissue box. Drink tray. <laughs> you know I love a drinks tray. Well, I'm just gonna put it here. I swear I've used this object more times than I ever have in the last few parts of this Let's Play. I'm gonna put it there. I know that's not an interactive drinks tray, but I still love it. All right, and then we need actual like makeup stuff probably would be good. Ointments and oils, probably good. Makeup tray, okay, let me get rid of some of this stuff over here. Makeup tray, bathroom clutter maybe, the hairdryer and stuff. That's probably good to have in here. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this thing too. So we're gonna have that over there. 
Little makeup tray, the ointments and oils. I get some magazines on this thing. I'm not sure where, where do they do the animation for making drinks? Is it in the middle or is it, do they use this whole thing? Cause it might look weird if I'm putting this in the way. Whatever, I'm gonna put them there. All right, I think that's actually pretty good. I actually, gonna be honest, I think that's pretty epic. I think it's pretty epic. All right, after photos. Okay, so I did have one out here, which is like, I've changed your door and made it worse. Here you go. <laughs> uh, and then I had one from every angle. So I had one that looked here. Look at that light above. I think that light is actually kind of cool on that way. Oh yeah. Look at this. That looks, that actually looks pretty sweet. I mean, I don't think they needed that bedroom, did they? <laughs> Alrighty, let's bring them back. Call clients a lot. Okay, so before, after, before. Oh no, wait, hang on. Before, after. Uh, mm, before, after, before, after. <laughs> Just getting the right ones to match. There we go. All right, that's it there. Okay, please reveal event. Work without a glitch. And then please... Remind me to come back in regular build mode and fix this foundation because it's really annoying. Hey guys, okay, please don't run inside because I want to show you the renovation. Oh, I missed a chow chow. All right, guys, let's stop there. What is going on underneath this house? I can see like the bottom of the volcano. No, 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 guys, you're already in the house. Oh, wait, no, because this is the front door over here. Yeah, this whole house is kind of glitchy. I, you know what? I don't think we ever lived in this. I think we moved in it at the end of the let's play and then that was it. This way, guys, you just walked through the house and you completely missed it, but it's this way. Okay, they're covering their eyes that's a good sign here we go covering my eyes i'm not peeking wait where are you guys going hello guys okay guys what uh, um uh um inside the house maybe is a better place to look at it or here i guess here you go <laughs> in this bush yeah we get to see it though okay that's not really anything <laughs> okay all right so bed wardrobe look at that wait we were doing walking wardrobe right? yeah we were bed walking what that's pretty epic Oh yeah, look at that. I do wish that we had that kind of big overhead light, like smaller and more like streamlined along the roof. It'd be awesome. Ve I think that's great. I love this. Right, let me make sure to show them the modern stuff. Okay guys, we actually need to go inside the house to see it. Just so you guys know. Oh, I've that's so weird. The stuff on the wall disappeared, but the reflection is still there. I was trying to click it. Okay, all right, check this out. <laughs> it's actually really annoying. Okay, so check that out. The mirror is also technically modern. So it's kind of weird. All this stuff's reflecting the stuff, but all the stuff on the wall is not there. I kind of wish they would Oh, that's so weird. I, I wish they would make it so the stuff on the this stuff on the I say it every time that it would just stay there so I don't have to have the walls up. So guys, do you wanna check out the wardrobe or be cool out there? Check out the Kallax. Kallax is pretty cool. What's that spot? <laughs> hey, hey man, hey man, hey man. What's that spot on there? What's that? What's that? Haha, <laughs> got him! Oh man, he liked it. All right, anyway. Um ask about your day. How's your day been? Um discuss the latest trends, maybe. <laughs> Maybe pass on to the rest of the big wallets if they want renovations. I'm pretty good at it. All right, well, I'm going to sit here. I can attempt. Oh, I didn't steal anything. Oh, and I didn't put up my painting. Damn, I always forget. Yeah, I'll put one up now. Oh, okay. I gave you that one. You know what? Yeah, you can have the llama. That's what you guys wanted. Good thing is I can add it in afterwards. Where should we put it? I was just kind of chucking it there. Sure, I'll put it above the door. It's a little, little hidden treat for you guys. <laughs> now, while you guys are occupied in the... Oh, baby crib. Can I steal it? No. I can grab that. I can take the full couch. Maybe I'll see if I can grab that. Hang on. Let me see if I can grab that couch while they're not looking. Three, two, one, and swipe. Yeah. Thank you. Hey right, guys, don't come out here, all right? Just let me know when you're ready. And then ready. Oh, future cube. All right, ready. Oh, no, no, don't. Don't look out here. This, this is how this room always was. <laughs> okay, she loves it. She absolutely loves it. And what about you? Your final thoughts? Um, Yes. I think Happy Tears? I think that's Happy Tears. Yes, that's very Happy Tears. There you go. Sweet. Hey, we got 1900 bucks for that. That's really good. Oh, because I got promoted. Did I? Wait, did I get promoted? I think I did. Let's go home. Okay, so that went nicely. Client seems to really like the new layout. And we were promoted to Home Decorator. You may also find more challenging and constraining interior decorator gigs. All right, well, speaking of which, what do we have? What do we got on the agenda? You can do a $1,900 one. Living room. Also have the $14,000 ones too. <laughs> Tell me anything. Okay, do we have any familiar names in here? Oh, Vlad. Nah. Oh, Alto. Is that Holly Alto? Yes, we're going to definitely do that. But I think it's 600 bucks. But I mean, we know her. You know, we know her and Carol Alto the second. Oops, that one. Um, so we're going to do that. Right, let's see if we can move because that is actually what we're supposed to be doing this part. So what I'm going to do before we move, first I'm going to save in case I'm not quite ready to move. I'm going to take the furniture we're going to take with us. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> 
So what we're taking with us is, oh yeah, so my power is broken again, by the way, in case you didn't notice. We're gonna take the uh, stove and the oven and the sink and the fridge and the whole bathroom suite, essentially. And the bed as well is upgraded. Anything that, that is basically upgraded, we're taking with us. And I'll take the easel so I don't have to rebuy that. Uh, some of my, st I'll take my stolen stuff too. At least some of it, not all of it. That was one of my, one of my classics. I'm gonna get these things here. So I think, you know, those are nice stolen memories. Uh, I'll leave the walk. You know what? We'll take the clothes. Cause that almost seems kind of realistic. Like we'll take the shoes and stuff and the, the clothes, but we'll leave the actual wardrobe. I think that's kind of a fun idea. So like leave that behind. Um, and I'll leave that and I'll leave that because we haven't upgraded that. So I've got everything I need to take with me. Oh, I sold this thing too. I'll take that. Uh, now, is there anything that I accidentally got that I shouldn't have, by the way, from that other geek? I don't think so. I think the rest of the stuff is all mine or stolen. So this is all the stuff that we're going to be leaving here and selling. So now we know if we go to Manage Worlds, just go to Manage Worlds. I'm not going to save because I just saved before this in case I need to just put all that stuff back. I can reload. So you, I can say move 17,000. I thought we would have had more money than that. We only need like 20,000 to move here, by the way. Yeah, sell furniture. Oh, 62? 62, but last year, last year I had 63. All right, we can actually, we can actually afford it because we have a bunch of stuff in my inventory, like all those photos that we take. So I'm just gonna sell those. And if it's only 62 bucks, we should actually be fine. That's plenty of money. So yeah, we got these 18 photos, 179, there you go. Sell those. And if we really need to, we can sell these paintings as well. They're actually worth quite a bit. I got 73 upgrade parts. Whoa. All right, well, if we need to, I won't sell them yet. All right, manage wells, let's see if we can move. Hey, 117 remaining, buying the furnished house. So we now live here in Del Sol Valley. Oh, if you haven't seen this house yet, I'm so excited to live in this. And once again, do check out the build video of this if you haven't seen it, because you'll see how it was all done and put together. But here's our lot. So what I've actually done is if you look, this is the entire lot here. I've put some like these are two fake houses next door. So I've kind of like subdivided my plot and put two fake houses here. This is all debug stuff. So everything here is not actually worth anything except for this room here and this room here and like the fences. So there's a little bit of value added to the lot, but as you saw, the whole lot is only actually worth 22,000. So it's super affordable for us. And then this is our house here at the back of the lot. We don't even have the best house. You know, we're at the very back in this little alleyway. Uh, although having said that, we do actually have a slightly bigger block than these two. We got two extra tiles, so it's a little bit nicer. And I recreated these houses and put it here. Now, people were saying that the front of the house is actually this side, which having gone back and looking at it, that does actually look like the front of the house. Um, and I did actually miss a few things like that we need to put in, but it's all right. Uh, but I think it might, well, let's see. I was gonna say it might be more trouble than it's worth to flip it around. Actually, it's pretty easy, hang on. So it'd go about there instead. I mean, actually that was pretty easy to just to flip it around. So we can easily move these two. Yeah, I, I don't know why I thought the other side was the front. I mean, it kind of looks at the front too. It, it's honestly a little bit ambiguous. So this goes there and that's in the same spot. Now as for this house, we should be able to do the same thing if we just grab it, flip it, put it there. Problem being is, I don't know, does that kind of make the other stuff a bit weird? Like what is a, oh no, that's fine. It just means the kitchen's at the front um, and that's all sort of flipped around a little bit. I think that's fine. Oh, I moved it too far forward though. Hang on. There we go. Okay, so that's in the same spot. All right, so now I flipped the house around. That was one thing I did actually wrong. And I think uh, there was a few other things, like some of the windows were different windows and I think the stairs are one of these stairs, but that's all right. We'll, we'll change all that stuff in time. Because the idea is like this house is pretty crummy, as you can see. All the wallpapers are really kind of gross. The lighting's bad. The kitchen layout is strange. It's covering up the old fireplace. Um, so we're going to do up our own house is the idea. I should probably fix the uh, entrances and stuff though. Hey, so on these, I'll just do... Oh, this is actually not lined up to the grid like that. That's all right. I'll just do it like this and get rid of those ones. So it's sort of like that. That's that's whatever. That's fine. All right. So then these guys, I'm going to move these bins over. And I was using a door as a gate, which I wasn't actually sure it was going to work. So what I'm going to do is get a half wall, which was a suggestion from the comments. Hmm, there's not really a double door that fits well on here. I guess I don't need a double door. I'll just use this, put it in the middle. Uh, is there a shorter half wall that fits here? Do that one. <laughs> I think we should come up with a better solution than what I'm doing there, to be honest. But I mean, it works. It's just, okay, so the reason in case you didn't watch the build video is because there's no fence, uh, no gate that matches this fence in this color. And this is the color that we are gonna use uh, because we're using the cheaper fence. This is a $20 fence, right? And it comes in all of these colors, none of which I think maybe the, no, I don't even think the dark one did. Um, 
really match this fence because there's another fence that it's exactly the same but it's 89 dollars and the gate matches this one but not this one which is super frustrating so this one here one of the colors is like white but it has like blue or something in it. it's really strange anyway so that's why we're doing this which yes is a little strange but it's just the way it goes yeah beautiful <laughs> All right, so anyway, let's get our furniture in this house because we actually got to move in. I've got all my stuff. So I can actually sell, thankfully, some things here. How am I going to do this kitchen, by the way? Because <laughs> I need to get rid of this. It's actually quite a lot of money. So I guess, should we just have that put, put back in? Actually, we might be able to afford a better kitchen already. Now the question is, do we just try and go with the color scheme we've got in here? So what if we already update the kitchen, but not do the walls or anything? So we rip out the old cabinets, put in new ones, rip out the old stuff here. See, I think this is a perfect spot for a fridge. I know we've got the fridge over here. This is the old fridge, which we're going to get rid of. I'm going to put in my new fridge or my existing fridge here. We could rip these out. Well, it's kind of in the way of the window, but you know what? I don't even mind. So it's kind of blocking the window and it opens toward the window. But we're going to do that for now because I plan on doing way bigger renovations, like probably ripping out a bunch of these walls and reconfiguring it. For now, we're just going to sort of move in and put ourselves where it fits. And that's kind of how I like it. We're also going to leave this fireplace exposed. Maybe we could give it a fresh coat of paint. Although, does that make sense? I guess you could paint the bricks, but it probably wouldn't look like... Okay, let's leave it. Let's leave it. All right, so the stove or the, the oven is going to go there and the little hob above it. Sink is going to go next to the fridge because uh, that's the only other counter I have right now. So that's where it's going to go. We're definitely going to need a makeover. Well, everything, but the kitchen especially. Bedroom, double bed can go right there. Oh my God, this, this room. Uh, Walk-in wardrobe. I've got all this wardrobe stuff. I guess it's going to have to go in there. All right, so bathroom. Let's get rid of the old one. Let's put in my ones. My upgraded stuff. Beautiful. Uh, I guess we can keep the bathtub and I can just add in a shower. So I put a shower here. I might have to move the sink actually. Maybe if we slide the toilet over this way a bit, move the sink over here because i can't really have a mirror above the sink <laughs> in go, in go there <laughs> okay hang on hang on hang on uh maybe we move the bathtub this way toilet that way sink over here okay so toilet goes there shower i'm kind of in an awkward spot isn't it maybe hang on maybe the sink maybe the sink stays where it is that makes more sense and then the shower can go here yeah that that that, <laughs> that works pretty much where everything was originally the toilet could even go back to where it was too <laughs> that could just stay where it was that's fine now the question is do you guys want to look at yarn or or do you want me to do the other method, which I know is a thing, but I thought the half wall was a better way to do it. So the other way to do it is you put a window there, then you get rid of the wall. Oh, hang on with move objects. So you get rid of the wall with move objects on. And then I think where the walls are down, it should still stay there. So you still see it. The weird thing is with it though, you can see you can only see half of it until you turn here. Then you see the other half because normally a wall blocks that so you don't see it. So we could do it like that. But then we miss out on the yarn. And quite frankly, I was quite excited by the yarn. So I don't know, man. Oh, this isn't tall enough. Interesting. What if I take the walls up? Hang on, if I take the walls up and then use the next one and what if i bring the walls down oh it actually downsizes that. i was hoping it left the taller one there oh it still does that window thing it's kind of weird isn't it uh i think well i'll leave it up to the comments but for now i'll leave it like this without the yarn but we can always add the yarn back in so d don't worry if, if you liked it we can add it back in and also we're going to be renovating this whole place anyway because it's still a bit of a mess um so i got this sofa that we stole we'll chuck this in here in the living room get the easel as well now i'm not going to spend too long um doing all this because we kind of just did a whole walk-in wardrobe renovation wow this layout of this room is also terrible <laughs> it's just so it doesn't really work does it man yeah we gotta do we definitely gotta do some renovations to our own house here this is rough we got some of my clothes there and some of them over here yeah that's how our clothes are currently arranged and we'll have this chair there <laughs> okay and then i will get the little bedside table as well that we had because i do like i do like these these are quite nice and it does fit like really well in these smaller bedrooms and the three wide bedrooms of the double bed like it fits so nicely a lamp oh, i got more shoes and they have to go on top then now i do actually want to have another garage as well because you guys are saying we should probably have that as well um, which I agree. So let's get another garage here. I'm going to do that now because it's going to cost me a bit of money to do it. Uh, hey, why did it build it up so high? Put it back on the ground. There we go. So dumpster, uh, I'll put it, hmm, dumpster can go up here, over this side of the alleyway. And we were using, so these roller doors are free, but I'm going to use, because they're debug. And the reason I used all free stuff again was so it didn't add to the value of, like we ideally are only paying for this plot of land. So basically all this stuff over here doesn't cost anything, which is good because that's how we want it. But there is the valued roller door, right? Where is it that costs money because that's what we want to use there's this one that's painted kind of cool maybe we should have that for ours oh yeah we could get a sweet like graffiti one that's actually kind of cool i like that i'll get the roof as well i'll paint it the same as my house and the inside as well 
And inside I'm gonna paint like this and have, oh, that door does not line up with the grid. Is that, oh, really? Is that how I did all of them? Did I not notice that? My bad. <laughs> I'll move that along. Now I do wanna do windows in here. I think I wanna use the ones that are in this little bathroom, these for the like the garage windows. I don't know, I think that's like perfect for it. And then lighting, I'm not gonna do lighting in the other ones cause we don't care about those. Uh, I'm gonna do lighting in here though. I'm gonna get this light bulb here. And then this is where we store all our other stolen goods that we don't have anywhere to put. Uh, well, actually I might put this in the, the house. Uh, so like any big items that we don't really have anywhere to put, that's the idea. That was a suggestion and I really like that. So I'm gonna get this coffee table. Uh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna leave it in this color cause we're, we're gonna make over this place anyway. So we'll get some magazines, get our little llama thing. Oh, I can't afford the TV units. Okay, that's fine. All right, so this is our house. This is what it's gonna be for now. Uh, can I can I afford a dining table maybe? Just somewhere to eat breakfast and I could use this chair to dine at for now. <laughs> maybe a cheaper table would be better. Two feet, oh, that's not that much cheaper. Oh, there's plenty dining chairs I can afford. We get one of these. There you go. <laughs> so sad. And it's under this really crummy light. <laughs> all right. Well, that's what we, that's what we can afford. So that's all we got. Now I better say lock a uh, door for everyone but Hazel because that's uh, kind of important. And then this is my front door technically to my house. Um, so if I go here, where are you Hazel? Come on, let's go home. Let's go check out your new house. You finally made it. You bought your first home that we're going to be renovating. I love this little alleyway. I had so much fun building this. Oh, hang on. Let me there we go. I had so much fun building this little alleyway with all this junk in it and the graffiti. Here we go. We're going through our gate. Yeah, here we go. So this is our garden. This is beautiful. It's our house. It's good to be home. Go use the toilet. It's it's good to be home. All right, so I'm going to leave this part here because we've now moved. It's actually been, I think, a long-ish part. The idea with this is obviously, like I said, we're going to make over and renovate this house, make it really nice, like we were sort of doing with the apartment. So we'll keep doing that, keep renovating this as we get more money and all that kind of stuff. Then the idea is we're eventually gonna like buy out the houses next door and not necessarily make our house bigger. Maybe we just build this house again and make it like a real house. We could even then rent it out or something like that. Uh, but what I wanna ask from you guys in the comments is how should we do that? Because obviously this technically costs zero dollars. Should we make them each cost 20,000 kind of like what we paid for this one? Or should they be more than that? Or I don't know, let, let me know what you think the rules should be for this particular lot. Or maybe we don't touch them at all. And maybe we do up this house, sell it, and then move somewhere completely different. Maybe that should be the thing. So let me know in the comments down below how you'd like to see this progress. But all I can say is I'm super excited for this, this new uh, living situation that we're in. Like, I think this is gonna be so much fun. We're gonna be doing more renovations, of course, on other people's houses, but we're gonna keep renovating our own. So I think it should be really, oh, there's a ball pit <laughs> in the lot next door. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below and have an awesome day.